Hey guys, welcome to the world's least interesting background. This is our china cabinet. Thumbs up if you have a china cabinet. They're like apparently giving these things away at estate sales now because like millennials don't have china. I don't know why. Um, they're awesome. And where else are you going to keep your china? This is the set I got from my great grandmother and it's gorgeous and you know, might as well display it. This would also be really fantastic for um, collectibles. My husband's Transformers collection. He wishes it was in there, but uh, I put my foot down and that's not in our kitchen. Anyway, today I'm talking about maternity leave. I'm here on maternity leave and uh, just finding like a corner of the house that is comfortable-ish for me right now. I just tested with our little ambient thermometer. It's about 85 degrees in this room, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> it's about... Uh, uh, 90 degrees outside right now. So I guess we're managing. We're managing. We have an AC in one room of the house, which is this one here. So I'm going to see if I can normalize the audio, but I just, I can't turn the fans off. I'm not going to try to do it. <laughs> uh, today, I just kind of wanted to talk to you about, first of all, how things are going with us, with life, with the pregnancy and the maternity leave and all of that, as well as what my plans are for the channel for the rest of the next couple of months. Um, I keep comparing things to the last pregnancy and that's pretty much what I've been doing, what I'm gonna keep doing because this is a very different situation than last time. Um, with my last pregnancy, she was still, she was breached at this point at 36 weeks. She, um, we tried the ECV and she didn't budge. And so my body was just like, yeah, we'll just, you know, whatever. Uh, just kind of chilled and everything was pretty normal. Also, it was like June, so it wasn't this hot. So I feel pretty much a lot more miserable this time than I did with her. Um, and I don't know, she, she's doing amazing, by the way. We're suffering a heat wave here in Southern California. Um, Tuesday was, I think, 103. I saw it predicted to go up to maybe 105. I think it was 103. Um, and so it's on the decline, uh, so it's going to be mid-90s, I think, for the rest of the week, maybe high 80s next week. Um, so I'm hoping that that trend continues, <laughs> and we're just happy in the living room with the AC on. It's fine, but I'm very big. <laughs> I just ordered a second pair of maternity shorts, so today's laundry day because I need to wash my first pair. Uh, because I only had one pair of maternity shorts. I never needed those with Agnes. Um, I was perfectly happy in just like sweatpants and uh, yoga pants, I guess, and my maternity jeans until the day I delivered. And then the day we came home was another one of those freak heat waves where it was like 110, 115. And uh, when we came out of the hospital and got hit with that big, you know, curtain of hot air from the environment, it was 110 outside. And I think Agnes, little, you know, three days, two days old, just went, oh, so this is where I live. Okay, I guess this is normal. And she's in there taking a nap right now under a fleece blanket with just some fans going. I don't know. She sweats profusely, but does not seem uncomfortable in the heat at all. Like, she keeps saying, do you want a blanket while we're snuggling in bed? I'm like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm very hot. <laughs> so she's doing great. Um, she is full of energy, verb, and life, as always. Um, and yeah, this is I'm filming this on day four of maternity leave, Laura. I'm here alone. Well, yesterday my husband was working from home because I had a doctor's appointment. Um, so we checked, we did an ultrasound, and saw baby is definitely head down this time, which is fantastic. Um, that was the thing that, I mean, like I said, she Agnes was breached, and so... My body was never really getting ready for labor, and this time it is. Um, this time I'm feeling Braxton Hicks contractions. I'm feeling all kinds of stuff, just general fatigue. <laughs> this morning, I uh, yesterday and today, I don't know. I just I have urges to take naps multiple times a day. I want to take more naps than my daughter does, so we are working on a negotiation strategy there. <laughs> um, but things are going pretty well as far as maternity leave and. Um, yeah, I've, I've been saving up up there all of her like arts and crafts activities and some toys and activities and craft stuff and um, just like, you know, pom-poms and pipe cleaners and beads and paints and card 
stock and all that that um, I am trying to prep like some activities for her to do that are new and interesting that'll keep her engaged for a while while I can just kind of either try to get like one thing done or rest <laughs> literally take a nap um, while she is otherwise occupied. We just watched an episode of uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse during lunch because I really just needed to close my eyes. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the channel. So with my last maternity leave, I spent like the period of time before the baby was born and I had the full four weeks of feeling pretty normal um, and no toddler running around. <laughs> and I pre-filmed a lot of videos. I prepped a lot of stuff and so you had nice high quality videos coming out every week and then Sunday videos were like vlog style spur of the moment stuff. This time did not have time for that. Also didn't feel like I really needed to. Like I think I can still reliably create two mediocre videos per week. So that is what you're going to be getting. Please subscribe. <laughs> um, so the way that my channel works, if you're new here, hi. I post planner related content on Thursdays and then lifestyle, family, pregnancy, all of that stuff on Sundays. So, um, like today's video is all about me and my sweaty glory. Um, <laughs> Thursday's video, I think this next Thursday is going to be a plan with me, a monthly plan with me. Um, but after that, basically my Thursday videos are going to be a sort of spur of the moment what I did in my planner this week, kind of a weekly flip through um, without any scripting or too much editing. And then my Sunday videos are going to be vloggy check-ins, um, sort of slash weekly bump dates slash life with a newborn once that happens. And this is my plan to sort of just do that kind of a video for um, until probably mid-October or so, until the baby's about a month old. Um, and then I think that by then, I think I should be uh, ready to move on to normal content again, where I do a monthly play with me video, monthly flip through, monthly week me weekly play with me video, monthly bedtime story reviews, um, and all of that. But if there's any specific kinds of questions or uh, videos that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and leave those in comments. I'm always looking for more ideas. And the less I have to think about what my video is going to be, the better, honestly. So yeah, just I wanted to let you know that I am planning to still continue to produce as much content as ever. If I miss a video, you know, once or twice around the time that the baby comes, if I go into labor unexpectedly, hopefully I will. <laughs> um, but if I don't have my video prepped in time, you can guess that it's probably at this point because there's no AC in the office and spending too much time in there editing a video is really difficult. Um, anyway, I'm not planning on possibly missing one video when the baby comes. Um, not miss, planning on missing too many, so you should know that if you subscribe, ring the bell, you will be getting those two videos a week. But that the quality might be a little bit lower. Do so you notice I haven't stopped talking this entire time because I don't want to have to edit this later. So I hope you enjoy rambles because that's what I'm good at. And surprisingly, I haven't run out of breath yet. That has been the thing lately as I get bigger and bigger. So that's all. I guess I also want to say I really love and appreciate you guys and that you're the best and that um, I am appreciative of everybody who's planning to stick around through all of this and who's going to watch any of my truncated content uh, for the next couple of months. Wish me all of the best. Like I said, I hope I hope we'll go into labor early because I do have a hard end date. Uh, they don't want me to go past 41 weeks and so if I do, they're going to do a repeat, repeat cesarean. But I am hopeful um, because, like I said, my body is preparing itself for a delivery. I, I am hopeful. Like, I feel like it's a, a dare to dream. Why would I even say it out loud? But I feel like I could have this baby around 38 weeks. We'll see. That would be great. Um, my <laughs> family's joking that I'm going to go into labor while my uh, brother's getting married, which would be fine with me. Um, 39 weeks would also be great, but sooner rather than later. So if you have spare prayers, you can pray for that to happen for me and for our family. So that honestly, things will be better once the baby comes because my husband will be on paternity leave and he can entertain the toddler while I deal with sleep deprivation and nursing. Um, and I'll be able to nap more, hopefully. <laughs> I say that. 
you know, obviously, obviously, newborn life has its own challenges. If any of you are not parents, look forward to it. It's magical. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I've already asked you to subscribe, so do that. And I'll see you in the next one um, on Thursday. Bye. Thank you.